If you're taking Algebra 1 this year and you don't really understand how to multiply polynomials, don't worry, I got you. So we have the problem 7x minus 3 times x squared minus 2x plus 7. And so the way that we can multiply polynomials is basically to use the distributive property, okay? So first of all, we're going to multiply 7x times each term in the second set of parentheses, okay? So 7x times x squared is going to give us 7x cubed. 7x times negative 2x is going to give us minus or negative 14x squared. And then 7x times 7 will give us plus 49x. Okay, now we're going to do the second term. So negative 3 times each term in the second parentheses, and that's going to give us negative 3 times x squared. So negative or minus 3x squared, negative 3 times negative 2x will give us positive or plus 6x, and then negative 3 times positive 7 is negative or minus 21. So now we have this new expression, and what we have to do now is look and see if we have to combine any like terms. So right off the bat, I see that we have this term and this term that both have an x squared. And then I also have my plus 49x. I'm gonna put two dashes through it so I know that that one lines up. And that one's gonna line up with plus 6x. And I'll put two dashes so that we know that that lines up. So the minus 21 and the 7x to the third do not have any like terms. So now we can go ahead and work this problem. So 7x cubed, and then we're going to combine negative 14x squared minus 3x squared is going to give us minus or negative 17x squared. All right, positive 49x plus 6x is going to give us 55x or plus 55x. Okay, then we just have minus 21. And so that's as far as we can take this problem, and that's how you multiply polynomials and then simplify the expression.